You let your guard down. It's my turn. Executing Take Star this! Flash. Suffer my judgment! Uh, here I come! Ah! Yeah. Uh, here I come! Yeah. Rest in peace. We are one step closer to... Can I open this? There's seriously nobody here. You'd think we'd spot at least one person, but... Quiet. Someone's coming. Hey, look! That's... Yeah. Please! I'm sorry! I don't have any money on me, honest! Stop spewing that verbal garbage, small fry! And quit trying to worm your way out of this! A generic character like you just needs to shut up and accept that you're gonna get pounded into the dirt! Is that... Tiara? My eyes say yes, but she's acting very strange. Ryushin, can you confirm if that really is Tiara? Scanning and comparing vital measurements. The probability of it being the same person is roughly 99.8%. She's acting like some kind of bad-tempered delinquent. She's acting like... Fang. Even Fang isn't that bad. Hey! Bilbo's wondering, girly boy! What are you staring at? Get bent! This ain't no peep show! What did she just say? Hey, you two! Don't just stand there, help me! Please! I'll make it worth your while! Why's it always gotta get complicated? Fine! Now you're all my victims! Hand over everything you got! Lord Sherman! What should we do? I doubt persuasion will be very effective in this situation. For now, I suppose we'll just have to subdue her. Oh, what? You want to throw down? Fine, then. All aboard the pain train! Let's go, Kiwi! I will waste no time! Here I go! Get out of my sight! Here I come! Here I go! Here I come! Execute upper screen. Take this! Lightning light! Get ready, Kiwi! Who am I fighting? Ah! I'm fine. Here I go! It's my turn. Execute upper screen. Take this! Lightning light! I'm gonna smash you to bits! Here I go! Here I come! Execute upper screen! I cast you off! Into the sky! What? Here I go! I'm fine! Here I go! Here I come! Ah! Yeah! Who am I fighting? Huh? It's my turn. I can use huh? this. Who am I fighting? Huh? I'm fine. Who am I fighting? Huh? Here I come. Here I go. Here I come. Execute upper screen. Take this. Here I go. It's my turn. Executing upper screen. I can still here I come. Don't kill uh, me out. Here I come. Fair eyes. You reform transformation complete. Now then, let's go. Unleashing. Now, atone for your sins! Huh? I served 
justice! Huh? Rest in peace. Need more training. Damn it! What the hell's up with you guys? Just calm down, would you, Tiara? What happened to you anyway? Uh, how the hell do you know my name? Do you not remember us? Could the shock of being teleported to these planes have caused her to lose her memory? Oh, now I get it! You're a couple of Dorpa Stooges, aren't ya? Well, screw you! You're not taking me in! Hey! Tiara! What could all of this mean? Yeah, I have no idea. What the heck is going on around here? Oh, I know. Maybe we should ask that guy who... Seems to have disappeared. Jerk! He just ran away? He said he was gonna give us a reward! Well, there's nothing we can do about it. For now, we should return to Zelwyn's and speak to people there. Perhaps we'll learn something. Okay. I'm glad you're here, Lord Sherman. Fang is terrible at dealing with these kinds of situations. Wondering where Fang is. If he's by himself, he must be starving to death. <sighs> oh, welcome back, Lord Sherman. Did you learn anything? It seems our situation is much more complicated than I had thought initially. Take a look at this. What is it? A newspaper? And the date is from forever ago. From our perspective, it is indeed. But as far as the town is concerned, this is today's paper. Today's... what? So what? We traveled back in time? That was my first thought. But that alone wouldn't explain Tiara's unusual behavior. Affirmative. Though it defies logic, my analysis shows that there is a 91.3% chance that this is a past version of our world. When you put it like that... Something else caught my attention as I was walking around town. Flower shop girl, and the cafeteria manager. Everyone I know here is acting... odd. What do you mean, odd? Similar to Tiara. The normally polite, elegant flower girl was talking like a construction worker. But that wasn't the worst one. The normally even-tempered cafeteria manager. Just thinking about it is giving me goosebumps. I... I see. This is almost certainly the past, but there are still too many unanswered questions that must be answered as quickly as possible. But... what can we even do? First, let's leave Tiara B for now. We should search for the others. Fang, for example. If you exist here, I have no doubt that he also exists within this world as well. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. He's my partner, so if something happened to him, I wouldn't exist anymore. Then starting tomorrow, let us begin our search for Fang. Please take today to rest up. Huh? Are you leaving? We're not staying in the same room? Of course not. We may be fairy and human, but you are still a lady. Oh, and I paid for our rooms out of my own pocket. I couldn't bring myself to use our group funds. Well then, pleasant dreams. is the total opposite of Fang. Now then, we should get going. Do you have any thoughts on where Fang could be? Oh, um, before that, there's something I want to take care of. I have all the furies we've gathered so far, right? But I'm wondering what's going on in the places where they were before. If there are other furies there, we should probably get them. I see. If this is indeed the past, then the same villains from before may be after those very same Furies. And I bet Fang would think of that too! So maybe we should check out the places where Fang first got the Furies. I have no objection. Let's head to the first location right away. Okay, let's go!
So there's a theory here, yes? Or rather, there was. Yeah, Bang knows all about this place. If he had the same idea as us, there's a good chance he would head here. If I'm being honest, part of me wonders if Fang would really think things through that far. Analysis of his speech patterns, behavior, and general personality indicates a non-zero probability that this is true. Mm, please don't say that. Even if part of me does agree with you. But, but still, we don't have any other leads, right? Besides, I'm curious about the fury. Why don't we give it a shot, okay? Very well. some of the stuff I heard coming out of Tiara's mouth. The Tiara I know acted like a proper little princess. But maybe this is her true nature. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong, Lord Sherman? Are you getting tired? No. I was just gazing at the landscape and feeling a bit sentimental. You don't have to be concerned. Taking time to admire the view even now. That's so like you, Lord Sherman! Hey, why don't I go and scout ahead? I wonder if the reason for her sudden change is... You are the last person I would have expected to come calling. Are you here to pick a fight? Do you think I would simply appear before you if I did? Huh. You should be smart enough to know better than that, at least. Then state your business. I wouldn't want someone to spot the two of us meeting in secret and get the wrong idea. Someone within your group of friends carries the blood of the Vile God. <clears throat> That's all I wanted to tell you. So you should probably be on your guard. He speaks nonsense. Although, the same crest Bernard displayed also appeared on Tiara's forehead. Which means Tiara and the Vile God really are. Is something wrong, Sherman? Your heart rate and body temperature have measurably increased. Mark my words, Ryushin. If she has inherited the Vile God's blood in this world as well, then I swear, I will kill her. Understood. But for now, we can only pray that our fates have changed. 